Morena Tifano, no my heart and my welcome to my channel, Holistic Healthy Living Aotearoa. I'm just having a smoothie. This is my breakfast, but it's 11:30 in the morning. About I do a bit of intermittent fasting sometimes, and this is my smoothie. You probably can't see the colour very well. It's not very appetizing to look at actually, but it's actually quite nice. So I didn't. This morning, um, oh, this, this video is going to be about um, getting real about what I've been dealing with in the last month, which is kind of, I've been through a bit of a slump, I guess, in my progress, and just talking about how I'm getting myself back on track, and um, what mindset I'm having to use in order to um, make some positive changes, and get back on track, basically. So my smoothie, so it's, I, I do sometimes do intermittent fasting, so I will, might um, not eat my breakfast until about 11 o'clock in the morning or thereabouts, sometimes later because it's just, I happen to be busy or in town or something or get stuck somewhere and I can't get home for anything to eat that's healthy, so I can wait till I get home. Um, so what I'm eating for my my smoothie. So I did a workout this morning and I quite like to have a bit of a nourishing smoothie for um, something to eat after I have a workout but today I had to rush off um, and because of that I'm now having a very late post-workout smoothie uh, and this has in it celery, beetroot, strawberries, blueberries, banana and I think that was it those five things, I think that was it, um, oh, and spinach, baby spinach, just small amounts of, of each of those, plus some puku ora bone broth protein, which is a double chocolate flavor, which is great, um, and this is really for gut health, the, the, I, I take this, this is one of my whanaunga, actually, um, Irina, who runs puku ora, she's one of my um, cousins from on my Ngāpuhi side, um, our higher connection up north so um, she makes this stuff and I bought some of this back when she I think the first really or second release that she did of, of this and um, it's great I just I'm all about trying to fix my insides and make them healthier so I have this not every day um, probably twice or three times a day a week sorry well, um, I might have um, a smoothie with some of this in it and that is what's kind of given me a nice healthy boost. I have celery because celery is proven to be quite good for you. Um, and beets are very good for my liver. And I'm, you know, if you know anything about my story, um, I have gallstones. I have a gallbladder full of gallstones. And so I'm trying to heal myself with food instead of surgery. Okay, so um, yes, I've been through a bit of a slump. So I think in my last video, I may have told you how much I weigh, um, I think. And, you know, weight is not the only measure of success when it comes to living a healthy life. Um, however, it is for me particularly, it's quite good for me. I jump on the scales every day and sometimes multiple times a day um, because it helps me to understand how my body fluctuates and responds to different things actually which is quite cool and, and and I've gotten over the fact I well no I still do sometimes get impacted by not seeing a budge or anything over time but um fluctuations throughout the day are normal I mean heck we go to the whareipaku uh we eat and we drink and um yeah so of course our weight's going to go up and down throughout the day uh so I um have been stuck around the 69 and a half to 70 and a half 71 um kg sort of mark and I am still there I'm uh, this morning I think I was 70.3 or something like that when I weighed myself um and I'm actually quite surprised that I've stayed in that era but area because I have been eating very poorly um, and I can trace it right back to the 6th of June which is my son's birthday and when I bought a whole bunch of chocolate for his birthday cake to decorate and I ate like a handful of M&Ms and then I decorated them and I had a few more and <laughs> you know hey I'm normal I'm human I'm not some superhero you know my um 
my um, sister-in-law makes the most beautiful, amazing, actually, I'm going to pause this video. I'm going to show you something, just in my, one moment. So, my sister-in-law um, makes gourmet cookies. She lives in Sydney, sadly, but probably in a good a good thing for me. Um, now, I she my husband just got back from Sydney. He was there for a, a few days for some mahi. And um, she gave us this container. It had five cookies in it, I think. I have eaten two of them. <laughs> um, they've been in the fridge, so they're not soft and moist or anything like that. But they still are. Actually, when you bite into the straight out of the fridge, they are still beautiful. So this is a pretzel cookie. And it's got yummy. Look at all those beautiful ooh, white chocolate chips in there. Uh, anyway. I've had to. I'm not going to eat any more. The rest, these are for the kids. But that is showing a lot of discipline on my part. Oh my goodness. Normally, back in my old, the old me would have just gone and scoffed that whole thing in one go. But anyway, things are different now. Um, so yes, I've eaten two of those cookies, and my sister-in-law um, um, made a comment. She said, oh, "I didn't know. I didn't think you'd eat any." Um, because of the whole um, eating whole foods and unprocessed sugars and things like that. So I, um, that struck me into, um, I guess, and was one of the reasons why I'm doing this, one of the reasons why I'm doing this video is that I um, am not eating perfect every day. And there's no such thing as eating perfect, actually, in my mind. I'm not eating um, all whole foods no added sugars no you know i'm not doing that every single day but over the and and actually since my son's birthday so that's been like it's the 25th today so you know 20 days i have been almost three weeks i've been eating quite poorly and to be actual actually to be honest um i i was emotionally um suffering as a result of it and I you know didn't really um think that that would happen but that is what has happened or what had happened is that pardon me mm, pardon me that's my, my smoothie coming back up for a visit um <laughs> is that I um my my body was becoming a bit more sluggish because I was putting the wrong too much of the wrong stuff in and not enough of the good stuff, and I was, so I was becoming a bit lazier about my choices, and um, becoming less mindful, becoming more detached from my um, eating habits, and exercise habits, and my sleeping, and um, one thing that I noticed is that my sleep got worse, um, I stayed up later, because I was a bit more down, just generally, um, and so I was wanting to watch more Netflix. Oh, it didn't help that we got new we got new um, broadband put in because um, we now have fibre part of the way to Waimarama. So it's sped up the, the broadband. So we now have got um, unlimited broadband. Um, still not super fast, but it is it is much faster than, than it used to be. And so, you know, Netflix, Lightbox, Neon, all that sort of stuff. <laughs> One thing also that happened is that I, um, my old injury that I have had since forever, and I only think it has it, my my right shoulder, right shoulder, the muscle that goes from your shoulder up to your neck, I have had problems with for years, and I put it down to when I used to travel overseas a lot for work, and I used to carry heavy, just call me the traveling salesman, I used to carry like these big heavy bags of um of prospectuses prospecti um big thick university books about what the university offers in my bag like heaps of them and a whole bunch of us and gifts for more people that I was visiting because you know I was going to places yeah, anyway that was my job um building relationships with our overseas partners and recruiting students <laughs> and um yeah over time that has just caused me so much grief, this muscle. And um, three years ago, when I had my daughter, and uh, two months later decided that I was going to do Iron Māori, 
and then I got an injury in my neck and you I used to be able to just sleep for one night with a rolled up kind of um, hand towel or something under this little part of my neck and the next morning it would be all gone but that didn't happen and I had that injury there for months and months and I had to go to physio all these different things to actually get it and it wasn't ever 100% back again so that came back that pain in my neck actually came back and um, I've learned to accept that when I am injured I don't exercise um, one of the things that I read in my Noom um, articles recently was that do a quick check are you sick from here up if you're sick from here up, then you probably can work out because it's just a head cold or something like that. Unless you have a fever, um, you probably could work out. If you're sick as from here down, you probably need to have a rest because you might have an injury that needs to be um, nurtured. Your body needs some time to heal. So um, I was using that. My pain was sort of like, well, it's kind of over here, but it was pain, pain. It wasn't like a cold um, pain going down into my shoulder and so I decided not to exercise that much I did a few bits of yoga here and there um, so yeah all that was happening in those three weeks I can't believe it. it felt like it was longer it felt like it was way longer actually far longer but it, the dates don't lie it was only three weeks ago less than three weeks um, so what is different about me now than what was what if I had been on the similar journey that wasn't new maybe was some other kind of um, weight loss program in the past and then I had a three-week slump I would have given up and just started eating whatever I used to do everything I used to eat and I would have just stopped exercising um, and just given up and gone into a big hole. <laughs> I don't know why why we do that, but that's kind of what I used to do um, when when I because that's that all or nothing mentality. It's like oh I'm failure, I'm failing, I can't do this. I'm just going to go back to what I was like before. It was safer and easier. Uh, so the difference now is that I have some um, information. Information, I guess, is the difference. Um, the psychology base of Noom is the thing that has helped me to realize, and this is one of the first things that you learn on Noom, is that we will go on your journey in life, you will go like this. You will not go like this. You will go up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And sometimes those downs will be right down there, but you can always go back up. It's all or something. And so all or something is... The thing that I've clung on to, and you know, even though I've been feeling like rubbish for a couple of weeks, I have still been eating mostly whole foods, but just adding heaps of crap in there, like chocolate. Oh, chocolate is my nemesis, along with sleep. Um, but I love chocolate actually, and I allow myself to eat chocolate every day. Um, and I'm still fine. I haven't put on <laughs> like a heaps of kilos back and gone on again. Um, so. What I am, I guess, the message of this um, video is that as we go through our journeys in life, we need to remember that um, there is no ideal. Ideals are terrible. Ideals are just the worst thing ever. We should never put ideals or place ideals upon us, that, that expectation and those it's like a ooh, heavy thing that is you're putting on your shoulders. You know, free yourself of those. Chuck those things away. Ideals are rubbish. Um, everyone is different. We all have different journeys. You know, I I eat processed foods sometimes, and I eat them every day. Um, but I balance my life. I balance things out with health. I'm, and hey, I'm not putting myself on a pedestal either. I'm I'm so not perfect. No, I look at myself and I still think, oh, I said, you know, I, I need to um, lose a few inches around there or whatever. But I don't make that my driver. You know, I, I instead I um, just think about 
living healthily, you know, living a healthy life. My whole, you know, the four pillars of health. Um, there's, so there's the whare tapa whā, but there's also the four pillars of health, which I may have talked about previously, but, you know, sleep, stress management, um, nutrition and exercise. So actually, ex nutrition is the number one. Um, stress management, sleep and exercise, and then the whare tapa whā, your tīnana, your hiningaro, your wairua, and your whānau, you know, that there's all those things make up our picture of health, and, um, and you know, and they all, <laughs> yeah, they do that, you know what that means? <laughs> do you know what that means? <laughs> they all um, impact each other, it's like a, like a, yeah, they just everything you know. Poor sleep will impact your decisions that you make about exercise and nutrition the next day, or poor decisions about kai will um, could impact your emotional state and your stress. Um, if the whānau is having some dramas, that's going to affect how you eat, if or how you sleep. Um, you know, if you're not in a good space spiritually, that is going to impact everything so we need to yeah that's a bit of an overwhelming message sometimes um we can't change everything all at once how do you eat an elephant one little chew at a time so i encourage the whānau i encourage you all to just pick one thing that you want to do better this week one thing that you want to do better this week and do it do the thing do the one thing and just see how it impacts other things. Um, being more mindful has definitely helped me in my in my journey, and I am I am I honestly believe that this is the time in my life when I was meant to come across all of this stuff. The noom, everything is linked in. You know, um, I am on a personal journey. I'm on a journey with my whanau, on the journey as a mother um as a wife you know we we're, we're all on journeys um and so do your journey do you <laughs> do the thing and that's my message today kaki te ano.